Hello friends, this is Russian Torts here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to clean my Axolotl Aquarium which is right here. So this right here is my 29 gallon Axolotl Aquarium with one happy little Axolotl right down here. So this is Mudkip, everyone can say hello. And Mudkip's living in an aquarium that has not been cleaned for about a week. So it's time to clean this aquarium and I figured, you know what, I'm doing this, I might as well record it while I am doing it. So cleaning an axolotl aquarium is essentially the same as cleaning a fish aquarium and there's really only a few things you will need. So I got everything right here. First thing you will want is an algae scrubber like this. Um, as you were able to see, uh, Mudcap's aquarium is not really covered in algae right now, but I still like to scrub down the sides just for that little bit of algae that is there. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but my dog's right here sniffing at everything. Um, second thing you'll want is some sort of siphon. Now this is honestly a pretty cheap and uh, not so great siphon, but it gets the job done. All that does is suck water out of the aquarium into your bucket, which is the third thing you'll need because you will need some way to catch the dirty water from inside your aquariums. Siphons and algae scrubbers can be bought at any pet store really that carries fish supplies and they're usually not too expensive. Now the first thing I'm going to do when I clean my axolotl aquarium is I'm going to take out his uh, two hides that he has in there. There's um, a lot of dirt that's kind of trapped behind the hides and if I leave them in there it's going to be more difficult to clean. If you have an elaborate setup, by all means you don't need to take everything out. This just makes it easier for myself and since the only things in there are two clay pots, it's going to be really easy to take them out. This is where the bucket comes in handy too. Instead of uh, spilling every all this water on the floor, I can just lift these pots out, like so, put them in the bucket. Throughout this video you will notice that I leave the sponge filter plugged in and running the whole time. This is, there's no particular reason for this apart from that the sponge filter can be easily moved while I'm cleaning and it's very soft. So if I move the sponge filter around, I don't risk breaking the glass like I would with the uh, um, pots. So I'm just going to leave that in there just because I don't feel like taking it out. Sponge filters hold a lot of water and bacteria so taking it out is not really necessary and I just want to leave it in there for now. So now that your aquarium's all ready to be cleaned, the first thing you're going to want to do is use your algae scrubber and just from the inside of the aquarium scrub this whole front wall. Usually the front is all you need to do. The sides, personally I don't really care if there's algae growing on the sides. I usually just do the front but Today, just to show you, I'm going to do the sides of the aquarium and the front and as well the bottom of the aquarium. In a, usually in a fish tank you don't do this because there is substrate on the bottom. However, with an axolotl you don't have substrate. So algae will form on the glass at the bottom, especially if you have a light in the aquarium. So you might as well scrub that as well. So I'll do that and you guys can watch because you don't really have a choice. While you're doing this, you want to be careful that you don't um, go too fast. If you're moving too fast, you're going to cause the aquarium water to pretty much spill over the top because you're going to create too many waves. So just nice and slow does it. If you do this every week, you shouldn't really have to battle a lot of algae because you're going to be removing any of the little bit of algae that is formed every time you do this. Now, I have a sponge filter here and I still want to scrub the algae behind it, so I'm just going to honestly just push this over right here. They're light, they don't really weigh that much, they're just a sponge and some plastic, so no harm done in that. So you can't see this in the video, but while I'm scraping this, there are actually particles on the floor that were kind of stuck there. And um, scraping them, I don't know if it's algae or what, but it's definitely removing them. So. Uh, I would definitely recommend with an axolotl, if you have a bare bottom aquarium like me, algae scrape the bottom of your aquarium. Obviously, don't forget to do it under your filter as well. Alright, now that you're done, just make sure you wring out your algae scrapers so you don't spill water everywhere in your house or apartment. If you take a close look, you can see that the algae scraping caused a lot of par particles to float all throughout the water. So I'm just going to give this a couple of minutes for the particles to settle back at the bottom of the aquarium. The bigger pieces of poop, as you can see, have already settled there. 
So I'm just going to give this a few minutes until it all settles and um, then I'll be back. Also, if you're hearing some background noises, this right here is the cause of it. Now that you've algae scraped everything, it's time to drain uh, some of the water. So what you want to do when you do your weekly water changes is you don't really need to take all the water out. There's no need for that. Um, you have a filter in there, the filter helps keep the water clean, you don't need to drain all of it. So all you need to do is to grab your bucket like this, place it on the floor, so it's going to be out of sight for you. Um, stick the end of your siphon that's for sucking the water into your aquarium. So this siphon's pretty cool, the tube is really bendable, which is nice. Um, stick that in the water, and usually with the siphons we sell at the aquarium store, to start your siphon you have to suck at the end of the tube. However, this one, as you can see, comes with a little pump, so all I need to do is pump this pump right here. And then while I'm in the aquarium, I um, just suck up all of the dirt particles at the bottom here. Careful that you don't suck up your axolotl, of course. Pretty simple to do. They're pretty hard to miss. And just make sure you get any of the large bits of poop and if you have a dog, like I do right now, make sure your dog doesn't drink the dirty aquarium water. So, here you can see the dirty aquarium water. All you're gonna want to do with that is just flush it down the toilet and uh, ideally you would have removed most of the dirty dirty poop, most of the dirty water from the aquarium at this point. Now, after you've dumped the water, you can use the same bucket to fill your aquarium up with new water. Um, ideally, that water would be dechlorinated. If you do use tap water, which I am going to choose to do because bottled water is just way too expensive, you're going to want to get yourself a good dechlorinator. So what I like to use is the only dechlorinator we sell at our pet store, which is Nutrifin Aqua Plus right here. It's not too expensive and it's pretty easy to use. Comes with a measuring cup that'll tell you how many milliliters, excuse me, per gallon of water you need. Um, I think it's about five milliliters per 10 gallons of water. So I'm gonna use five milliliters even though I'm only gonna be putting five gallons of water back in there. So I'm gonna go prepare my water and then I'll be right back to fill up the aquarium. Alrighty, now that I have my fresh aquarium water prepared and it's all dechlorinated, I'm just going to dump it in the aquarium. If you have sand as a substrate, you want to be a little bit careful with how you dump this, otherwise you'll just disturb all the sand. But because for me, it's a bare bottom aquarium, I can literally just dump, dump this in the, aquarium, in the aquarium and I don't have to worry about anything. It's also a good idea at this point to add your decorations back into the aquarium and actually you should probably do this before you dump the water. So let me just grab those real quick. The reason you want to add these before is because right now the water level is a lot lower so I can stick my whole arm in there without overflowing the tank. However, if I fill the water straight back up to the top and then I stick my arm in there, I will overflow the aquarium. Alrighty, now I can dump the water. And here you have your freshly cleaned axolotl aquarium. Now this whole process honestly only takes about 10 minutes, it's not a lot of work. It takes a little bit longer when you're filming it, of course, but it's really worth it for your animal. They can't live in the same dirty water all this time and it's not a big hassle for you and it doesn't really cost you anything. So please make sure you change your axolotls of water on a weekly basis. So with that being said, that marks the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this content as well as all my other content. If you did enjoy it, I would appreciate it if you leave a like. It just shows me the support that I get. Um, if you're not subscribed already and you want to stay updated on my channel, please feel free to subscribe. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time.